Kelantan Tenaga Kerja Semanjung Malaysia JKSM melancarkan perhatian oleh anak syarikat milik penuh sebab dan operasi berhad yang tidak sedar di manufacturing dan keduntaan Amerika Syarikat Malaysia berhad dan soalan mengapa amalan buruh paksa berlaku di negara ini? My name is Nur Nadila Hariani binti Anwar. My metric number is A20A1762. My name is Nur Hani binti Ismail and my metric number is A20A1821. My name is Nur Ansyirah binti Rozali. My metric number is A20A1808. Hi everyone, my name is Nasha Dika Binti Mama Asri. My metric number is A20A1782. Hi everyone, my name is Noor Azmira Binti Baharudin. My metric number A20A1687. Hi everyone, my name is Noor Shahira Binti Amundin and my metric number is A20A1784. Hi everyone, my name is Shafinas Bendi Johari. My metric number A20A1781. Hi, my name is Siti Nunabila Binti Sairi. My metric number A20A1988. Hi everyone, my name is Siti Aisha Binti Batri. Uh, my metric number is A20A2272. Hi, my name is Noor Wajihah binti Muhammad Maimu. My metric number is A20A1795. I am so blessed to see all of you here to discuss our topic that we have chosen before, before this, which is forced labor in Malaysia. Based on official data from the Immigration Department, 20% of the country in this world involves in forced labor issue. Based on your opinion, why and how forced labor can be exist in Malaysia? Uh, in my opinion, uh, forced labor is any work or service which people are forced to do against their will under threat of punishment. Almost all celebrity practice contain some element of forced labor. That's all. Good explanation from you, Ain. Every issue happen in Malaysia must have a reason. What do you think one one of the reason this issue happened? Based on my view, the main cause of this forced labor in Malaysia is a violation of state law. This happened when workers who are forced labor come to Malaysia with their family and children. Directly, the children under the age also went down to the field to help their fathers who work to earn money. Clearly, this is contrary to the Children Act 2001 Gazette in Malaysia, which is uh, that children under their age do a job. This is because uh, this job can disrupt children through learning, mental health, uh, such as stress, and physical health. Uh, so, what are the other causes of this issue of forced labor? I uh, I agree with you, honey. Besides violation of state law in Malaysia is one of the main reasons why this issue happened. I think this forced labor uh, exists due to the presence of illegal immigrants in Malaysia. They enter the work the border without permission and require workers to feed themselves. Uh, to survive, they must take any job that does not require pay. So uh, the employ employers uh, should be targeted in the case of illegal immigrants. Uh, this is because most firms strive to save money uh, for salary employees. And then uh, they prefer to hire illegal immigrants because their, wage their wages are lower than local wages. I totally agree with Ayn that for several exists because by the presence of illegal immigrants in Malaysia, the existence have given an advantage to employee who wants to cut human resource costs. Next, the reason for the issue of the forced labor is the abuse of forced labor by employees or firms. Hence, when employees are expected to work overtime but 
are not compensated for it, this is an issue because they are unaware of their rights as workers. This gives a chance for irresistible entities to profit from their from forced labor. Among the cases involving forced labor is Malaysia. In Malaysia, is a labor, labor abuse by Malaysian supplier AT IMS company in Kuala Lumpur. They take advantage of this possible because they do not know their rights as a worker. Thank you, Shafika. Now we can see there are three main points why forced labor happen in the in Malaysia. Everything happen in this world must have the impact either in positive or negative way. This question I would like to ask our member, which is Asmira. In your view, what is the main impact impact we can see since forced labor happen? Thank you, Nalila, for the question. In my opinion, the impact on the issue of forced labor is, is also one of the confidence investor to invest to in our country. What I understand as a result, it has affected the willingness to invest in willingness of international investors to invest and result in our country lacking staff to meet the demand of foreign investors during the COVID-19 pandemic. It is because uh, our business operation cannot be carried out. The bad image of Malaysia that I see cause foreign investors to lose faith in our country ability supply such good. This impact really give a bad impact to our country. Let me share my opinion in impact aspect to this issue. In my opinion, the next impact of post labor is the employers unconcerned about the health of post labor workers. Why this happen? Um, the workers always been forced to work overtime and do something that they didn't want to do. Meanwhile, the bosses always take an advantage of them because not all of them, not all of them are educated. Uh, this issue is a serious issue actually, and I strongly agree with this impact of forced labor. The reason why I agree because they are human too. At least, as employer, you need to have an empathy and sympathy. Yes, that's right, Shira. I agree with you. We as a human being need to have humanity in us so that as not to become a human being who has not heard for the things around us. I would, I would also like to point off other effects where forced labor is also associated or equated with human trafficking, where this, where this issue of human trafficking not only affect the general population but the whole country. Ir irresponsible practice often turn refugees from Bangladesh or Vietnam into slave, slave labor. They are not paid and are persecuted. They are easily deceived in, a, in an emergency by this syndicate with the aim of personal gain. As a result, the country has a negative image through this. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Shapinas, for your explanation. In this issue, we can see the impact involves everyone in the sector. So if we as a government, what are the best actions should be taken to settle this issue based on your view, Nabila? Based on the reason and effect that you all have discussed, uh, I believe our national government can solve this problem in a few steps. Uh, limiting foreign worker recruiting is one of them. Restriction on the recruitment of foreign laborers uh, for agriculture work, such as uh, those are from uh, Vietnam, Indonesia, and Bangladesh. In actuality, uh, the administration maintained that uh, there had been no discussion of reimbursing the expense of hiring foreign wor workers since the beginning of the movement control order, which is an MCO in our country, replacing our foreign workers with local employing workers. So 
sorry interrupting your explanation, Nabila. I want to ask why our government need to hire foreigner workers before MCO happens. Where are our local labors? I agree with the question. Why in this sector they do not want to pay our local workers? It should giving country more advantage if use local workers in economy sector. Uh, thank you for your question, Hani and Asmira. Uh, in my opinion, uh, this issue happened because mostly our local labor do not want to work in this agriculture sector. Besides, uh, take it as underpaid job, a high demand from local workers make our government have to choose foreign workers which are easy to handle and acceptable how, how much wage uh, will be paid by employers. I agree with all of your opinion before this. In my opinion, one way to solve the problem of forced labor in this country is with empowering the rule of law through the amendment of the Employment Act 1955. In Malaysia, domestic work can be considered as a vulnerable work with precarious right. The Employment Act 1955 clearly recognized domestic worker as one type of an employee covered under the above act. Unfortunately, the law is put stem from several common rights as compared to other occupations. Due to these legal exclusions, domestic workers are deprived of enjoying basic necessities of, of terms in the contract of employment such as pet leave, rest day, working hours, break hours, maternity protection, and others. The employment act 1955 sets down the minimum compensation that we get to employers, which is only applied to employees with an annual wage of less than 2,000 ringgit and also to employees who work in manual labor regardless of their pay. My suggestion for the measure is that the Malaysian government can work with foreign countries that have uh, experience in dealing with the issue of fault labor. Uh, for example, Malaysia work closely with the US and the UK in preventing forced labor. To the National Action Plan for Forced Labor and APFL. This is then can strengthen Malaysian determination in resolving the issue of for labor which lead to the spread of COVID-19 pandemic that uh, affect the country's economy. From everyone's explanation, I strongly agree with why forced labor happened and how to overcome this issue from becoming worse than this. Every party involved should be made aware of the issue of forced labor. So, before we end the discussion, I would like to hear your point of view on the overall discussion about forced labor issue. In conclusion, I agree with all of your opinions. As we can see that this issue of forced labor is happening a lot in the country nowadays. This issue needs to be emphasized to maintain the well-being of the people in our country. Uh, in my view, this issue of forced labor uh, needs to be eradicated on a large scale to safeguard the national economy and the security of the local people. In my opinion, through conversation about this problem of forced labor, I totally agree with everyone's views. If forced labor is not addressed immediately, the country will suffer in future. As a result, all parties involved, especially the government, should face the issue of forced labor rather than allow it to escalate into the issue of the cases, cases in Malaysia. The welfare of workers is important to take care of of because they are not the one who contribute to the national economy. In my opinion, government mission should 
have a variety of post level regulation in, pla in place to safeguard workers. As I can conclude with the issue of forced labor is the issue, this issue will be more serious if any organization didn't take any action to the irres irresponsible employer. In my opinion, I can conclude the issue of forced labor is an issue that is often taken lightly by some parties until it legals and becomes serious to the country. This forced labor also occurs due to many reasons, such as in the context of poverty, lack of employment, and sustainable education, and others. Therefore, all parties must work together in combating this issue to help improve the country image. In my opinion, uh, I agree that the government should uh, restrict labor immigration into our country in order to address the issue of forced labor here. My conclusion, poverty is one of the main causes of forced labour, as well as a lack of labour in the agriculture sectors. There's decent employment opportunities and discrimination. My opinion for this issue, for all uh, my opinion for this issue of uh, forced labor, the government must find ways or alternative in overcoming this problem so that the image and economy of the country is not effect. Okay, thanks to everyone for the time. I also hope this issue can be handled wisely by the government because it will affect everyone who is being forced to work. Uh, that's all for today. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.